Leo, what's good? Uh, welcome to your reading. Today I'm gonna look at past, present, and future. I'm going to pull one card for your energy, and then I'm also gonna pull three cards for your most likely outcome, okay? Universe, spirits, and guides. What can you tell me about the sign of Leo? Two more shuffles. Leo, your overall energy is the two of wands here. Please also remember, roles can be reversed. Some things could be your person. This could be you, okay? We have the two of wands for your energy right now. Trying to make a decision on something, trying to figure out what you wanna do. Willing to take a risk, just not sure where possibly, all right? But you're making a decision or have made a decision or will make a decision. In the past here, we have the Seven of Swords, the Six of Cups in reverse, and the Queen of Coins in reverse here. Somebody was being shady in the past, lying, cheating, stealing, whatever it is. Whether it's soulmate connection or not here, the Six of Cups is in the reverse. Somebody may have come back from the past, or, um, or there was just some type of neediness or clinginess or possible codependency and somebody feel like they, feels like they gave too much here. Somebody feels unstable or somebody just felt like they gave too much to a situation with that Queen of Coins in reverse here. In the present, we have the Four of Wands in reverse, the Moon, and the Seven of Cups in reverse. There's a lot of frustration around something, around some type of secret or somebody feels in the dark about something. But with that Seven of Cups in reverse here, somebody is seeing something clear. Somebody is seeing something for what it is. They're getting out of this confused state. In the future, we have the Two of Swords in reverse, Justice, and the Eight of Wands in reverse. Once again, somebody is seeing something for what it is, um, which is, and then we have balance, possibly bringing balance with, into the situation, or you know, just balance into their life. Then with this Eight of Wands in reverse, here's somebody waiting or a possible lack of communication. That's what we have clarifiers for. So, Universe, Spirits, and Guides, clarify the Two of Wands for me for Leo, please. We have the Two of Wands clarified by the Eight of Swords in reverse and the Nine of Wands in the upright for your overall energy. So you're making the decision to, um, I feel like, fight for yourself, fight for your integrity. I feel like you're trying to free yourself of some type of situation here. Yeah, Three of Swords in reverse. You're trying to get over a situation. You're fighting for your freedom here. I feel like you're fighting for your freedom here. Okay. Um, and you're making the decision or will make the decision to do so, whatever that entails. You wanna get over a situation, you want forgiveness, you know? You may want forgiveness from somebody or they may want it from you. Why is the Seven of Swords here in the past for Leo? Seven of Swords clarified by the Knight of Coins and the Seven or and the Two of Swords, excuse me. This is like somebody avoiding putting in the work or somebody possibly going towards something else, and maybe somebody didn't want to see it. 
um, or somebody was sneaking around and putting effort into something else, right, but wasn't telling the other person, okay? Um, to me, this looks like somebody, this looks like somebody being deceitful and not, and, and ignoring that somebody else needs to put in the work here. Okay. Somebody also may have been moving a uh, away from a person. Why is the Six of Cups in reverse here for Leo for the past? We have the Six of Cups in reverse clarified by the Eight of Cups and the Four of Wands in reverse here. Somebody may have come back with the Queen of Coins in reverse here again. Somebody feels like they gave too much to a situation. Somebody feels like they gave way too much to a situation. They may feel like this connection was codependent. Somebody may have came back from the past here. Because somebody walked away somebody somebody it's like somebody didn't feel it was the right fit or somebody didn't feel welcomed um, somebody just felt the need to walk away from a codependent situation it wasn't serving them anymore or they just felt frustrated they felt frustrated it could have been messing even it could have been even messing with their stability here whether that's financial or otherwise why is the queen of coins in reverse here for the past for Leo We have the Queen of Coins in reverse clarified by the Three of Cups in reverse and the Queen of Coins in reverse. Something came back from the past and somebody realized this is not what I want. It's somebody that's realizing, wow, I have literally given so much to this connection or to this person that it has now depleted me. And somebody may even feel the need to isolate themselves completely not even just from this connection, or somebody did, from this connection, but they felt the need to um, isolate themselves just in general. Whew. Somebody felt very depleted here. Somebody felt very depleted here, and I feel like there was another person that wasn't putting in any effort here, and I feel like there was somebody that was, and I felt like somebody may have come back Okay, or if not, this is just somebody obsessively thinking about what happened in the past and finally trying to let go of it. Why is the Four of Wands here for the present for Leo? Why is the Four of Wands in reverse here? We have the Four of Wands in reverse clarified by the Five of Cups and the Seven of Swords. So somebody just isn't welcoming something else, whether it's an advancement towards somebody else, whether somebody's coming back, whatever it is, but somebody is looking back in the past and realizing how bad somebody screwed them over, and they're like, yeah, no. And either they just don't feel welcome or they don't feel safe, honestly, is what came to mind. They don't feel safe within the connection. They're feel, they feel like there's just a lot of things, a lot of things in the past that it's just, not good for them and they feel like if they keep giving to it it will deplete them so it's like in the past here they walked away and they're feeling frustrated because they do feel like they gave so much to a situation they're looking at the past thinking of all the sneaky behaviors and i feel like it just pisses somebody off why is the moon here for the present moment for leo i'm not taking all of those it's too much We have the moon card here, clarified by the chariot in reverse and the nine of swords in reverse. The 
This is somebody not making any moves towards the situation because they feel left in the dark. They feel like whatever sneaky stuff was happening is probably still happening. This is somebody that does not feel safe, I feel. Okay, there's somebody here that is not feeling safe with the person or doesn't feel safe within a connection and they're trying to stay optimistic. They don't want to be in that mind frame with that nine of swords in reverse here. This person that is, I feel like, you know, whoever got screwed over here, you know, maybe you both did, I don't know, but whoever got screwed over here it does not want to make a move towards this. They feel if they do, it's going to bring them negative thoughts, it's going to cause them to be in their head and this person does not. This person does not want to be in their head. They, somebody here feels like if they go towards this, it's just going to cause chaos. And they feel too in the dark about a situation. And I feel like it's like somebody doesn't, somebody does not feel safe. And I'm not sure why I'm getting that here. But it's like maybe somebody doesn't feel like their emotions are protected or somebody feels like they'll, you know, be mentally unstable if they give to this. Yeah, world, world at the bottom of the deck even, Leo. World at the bottom of the deck. Somebody knows that this has to end. Why is the Seven of Cups in reverse here? Did a card flip over? No. Okay, I thought a card flipped over. Sorry. Why is the Seven of Cups in reverse here? We have the Seven of Cups in reverse clarified by the Four of Swords in reverse and the Five of Swords in reverse. Somebody feels like the only resolution is to withdraw from the situation because they're trying to avoid some heartbreak. They're avoiding being depleted again. They're avoiding being taken advantage of because somebody doesn't feel safe and somebody's realizing that. Somebody's seeing things clearly. Somebody's withdrawing because they feel like that is the proper resolution. That is the only way that they're going to come out of this is if they withdraw, try and stay in a positive mind frame and reject this. Two of Swords in reverse. We have the Two of Swords in reverse. This is for future. Two of Swords in reverse, clarified by the Tower and the Ace of Cups. Somebody, okay, I'm gonna be honest with you, Leo. I feel like somebody here is seeing things clearly. A tower moment is brought in about this love situation. There's some type of tower moment here that's brought in about this love situation. I feel like somebody gets pissed off. Somebody wanted a new beginning and I feel like um, there's somebody that's not Like there's somebody that's not giving to it. Somebody doesn't um, want this to be over. Somebody, it's like somebody's upset that the other person doesn't have the hold on that hold on them anymore. But it's like somebody's true co true colors comes out. Why is the justice here? A tower moment may happen here in this future here but this talks about balance and success this talks about I feel like um, focusing on you you know coming out of this uh, coming out of this on top I want to say Be patient with yourself, you know. I feel like you're, you're going to be patient with yourself here. I feel like you're going to understand. You'll find balance here. You will find balance here. We have this eight of wands in reverse. Why is this eight of, why is this eight of wands in reverse here? Give me one more card. We 
We have the Eight of Wands in reverse clarified by the Judgment and the Three of Swords in reverse here. Um, So, I feel like somebody feels like they made a bad decision here. They made a bad decision and the other person is just trying to get over it. The other person is just trying to get over it. There may be a lack of communication to mo no communication at all. Or this is somebody waiting for the other person to see what kind of bad decision they made here. Or somebody may come in and... Um, It's almost like somebody's waiting on the other person to ask for forgiveness. Okay. King of Cups in reverse at the bottom of the deck here. Somebody, um, yeah. There's something here that just doesn't make you feel safe about this person at times though. Leo, if, the, if that's you, it could be switched around. What is the most likely outcome for Leo, please? What is the most likely outcome for Leo? One more shuffle. We have the Seven of Pentacles in reverse clarified by the Knight of Pentacles in reverse and the Magician in reverse. Not investing, not moving forward because somebody is a snake. That is the first thing that popped into my head. Um, I feel like this is you not moving forward with somebody. You're feeling like this is a waste of time. You may feel like somebody else is stubborn, but I feel like generally this is just you not moving forward because you feel like somebody is manipulative. You feel like somebody is a liar and you feel like somebody is a trickster. Nine of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. This is you focusing on yourself. This is you not giving to it anymore. Okay. So, um, you will find success in balance and focusing on yourself, Leo. You will find a sense of self. There will be a little bit of a tower moment here in the, in the, um, in the future here, but that's because you see something clear and I feel like somebody doesn't want you to see that. All right, Leo. Anyway, I love you so much. Thank you for letting me read your cards and I'll catch you later. All right. Peace out.